Hi guys, Joel here. Just a quick tip for an alternator, 12 volt alternator uh, that you might think is overcharging. Before you replace it, before you take it into AutoZone or whatever and have them check it. Um, and this is a 2001 Dodge 1500 5.2 V8 engine. ST, 4x4, etc., etc. So, what you're going to do is you pop the hood, remove this fuse cup box cover again. God. Okay. Now, you know what you're going to look for? That fuse right there. Now, you can't see. I don't care how close you look at it, what from what side, etc. You can't see if that fuse is good or not. But that is the alternator fuse right there. Okay? It's a 140 amp alternator fuse. That's what it says there. So what you gotta do is play it, take this plastic covering off and look at that fuse inside. And chances are one of the ends will be fused it'll be separated it'll be blown you gotta take that fuse out and put another one in where do you get another fuse good luck finding one and at everybody's rates today at auto parts stores forget it what you do is you go to a junkyard and you pull a bunch of them and you can probably get them for a couple bucks a piece i got a couple three extras in my toolbox but once again check that alternator fuse under the hood before you take it in to get it looked at or service, I changed that fuse. I had a feeling, but I wasn't sure. I double checked my math. It was blown and replaced it. Now my alternator runs 14 volts while the engine's turned on. The battery gets about 1398, uh, 14. And my gauge reads 14 and no more. You'll know you have a blown fuse if your alternator gauge, first of all, it only goes up to the first white mark. Then you'll have a, a warning red light that says check gauges. And then your alternator gauge, electrical gauge will go all the way off, all the way to the left. That's how you know you got a blown fuse. You can, uh, I was getting um, power surges off this alternator. It's been in question for months. It was like reading down 28, 30 volts, 40 volts. I'm like, that can't be right. So anyway, um, once I replaced that fuse over there in the fuse box, everything fell into place, everything. So real useful information. Have a good day.